who's a good boy, Ollie? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Ollie. And today you're gonna have puppies. Isn't that the best? You don't even know what that means yet, but I promise you it's gonna be the best. But hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 4 Random Pet Genetics Challenge. And we are back in the Labarkatory where last time we left off with adding Holy Cannoli the kitty cat into our feline side of our family tree experiments. And he had a daughter who literally pretty much looks identical to her mother named Ellie. And we just named her Ellie the second because she basically Basically, is just Ellie with tiny paws and different colored whiskers and slightly different shaped eyes. <laughs> so we have Ellie the second, child of uh, Ellie and child of Cannoli. I do think it's kind of funny how we've ended up with Manx cats. There's no tail on that kitty cat rump uh, in this family line. Who knows how long we'll end up with Manx cats? Probably for quite a while because today we're not having kittens. We're having puppies because the puppies have quite a bit more to offer to the randomness of the genetics in these family trees. Thanks to the fact that we now have quite a few pieces of canine custom content that changes the appearance and everything about the dogs. In fact, Ollie's father himself had goat hooves. Ollie did not inherit those goat hooves, but there was a chance he could have, and his mate today may have anything ranging from goat hooves to unicorn horns to antlers to who knows what else. So, manes, manes, there may be horse genes, horse genetics, or zebra tails that could show up on Ollie's potential mate. So talk about an exciting day in the Labarkatory. But all right, let's begin by saying good morning to Gaming Moo, our lab assistant. And today is actually his last day with us, my friends. And in the coming week, we will be hiring one of you guys from the comments section. All you have to do is say, yes, I want to be a lab assistant or anything of that nature so that I know it's okay to transform you into a random person randomly generated amongst our random genetics challenge. I hope you guys are counting how many times I'm saying random in this episode. It's enough to make your head spin. But we're going, I asked permission because you could look really weird and I don't want to like offend anybody or make you upset. So know that you could turn out like a purple spotted alien, but it's totally okay. It's just fun. And you get to be a lab assistant. Just let me know if you want your name to be used and I will use the random generator next time to select somebody from the comments of the last few videos. So let's go ahead, Gaming Moo. I'm afraid time is wearing down on you and you have now reached your elder years for a second time. I do believe he's ready to retire though because he's been around longer than most of our lab assistants. So he's probably like, thank goodness. And he has his dog Paula who is like ready to retire as well. So those two are like ready for this to be their final day. We're going to go ahead and release Ellie. She's going to go play in the cat trees inside of the Labarkatory. And she will take Cannoli with her so that we can make room for additional puppies. Ellie the second's just going to chill with us as the uh, inheritance of our feline family tree for a little while. And we are now going to have Ollie, our 37th dog in our canine family tree. There was a little bit of a mishap with the original 37th dog, but we're not going to talk about that. And we're going to have him get a mate today. So let's begin, my friends, by adding in a brand new canine. Oh, you're so cute in this Alaskan Malamute. No way. That would definitely give us some super unique appearances and traits. Just look at how dramatically different the structure, the body, the facial features. Dogs come in such a huge variety of breeds compared to cats for very specific evolutionary reasons, mind you, since we have cultivated dog genes across the centuries. But it does make it more interesting, in my opinion, to play with their random genes. But don't worry, Ellie. One day I'll get a lot of cat custom content and we'll be able to come back to you. All right. So we're not going to start with this Alaska Molly Mute. We are actually going to be randomizing 10 times. And we are going to pick the 10th dog that pops up. And if it's a pure breed, we will actually randomize it again in the breed mixer. So one. I oh. cute. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, why? Eight, nine, ten. It's a mixed breed! Holy cannolis! Again, no, the cannoli was the cat. This reminds me of one of our dogs we had. I can't remember her name. 
<laughs> but this reminds me of one of the dogs that we used to have. This is hilarious. She's so tall. Oh my gosh. And I'm so glad to see that the randomize button is working now so that it will randomize between both large and small dogs. It used to only do one or the other depending on which one showed up first, but it's properly working. Huzzah! I'm learning all sorts of new things about Create a Pet every time we dive into this. But all right, this is going to be our lovely girl, Ramona. Ramona, a name picked from your guys' suggestions in the comments. Thank you so much for that. And then she is going to be Dog Experiment 038. There we go. And Ramona, we'll give you your personality after we give you your appearance, my dear. So let's begin with the body shape and size. We are going to roll eight times. I use the numbers one through 12 just to remind you guys. I always get some comments where it's like, you're only supposed to do three. No, I need more randomness than just the number three. Three. That's too predictable in my life. So I use a random integer generator on random.org and line up a huge selection of the numbers 1 through 12. And now we're going to do eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So she shrunk down a little bit, kind of got those tiny paws going on with the big dog body, but who knows how she's going to look by the end of it. I'm especially excited to get to the very end and see if she has any genes that are not related to um, dogs. If she gets horse genes, unicorn genes, if she's going to end up with cow hooves, who knows? This is going to be so exciting. So just a quick reminder, we are no longer randomizing the head shape because they are always preset head shapes. We, ga we basically gave the head shape a chance to get randomized when we made the mixed breed. She has a head shape that is custom. It is going to be a mixed breed between two random breeds, whichever breeds she's part of. That's anyone's guess, to be completely honest. Uh, so we're not going to be randomizing head shape anymore because it kind of gives the muzzle and the, the head shape, imagine that, a very unique appearance compared to when we used to randomize it every time. So we're going to do everything after head shape though. So the ears, let's begin with the ninth set of ears. So many ears to pick from when you're a canine. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, Ramona, six. Seven, eight. Oh, Ramona, you're so hilarious and we've hardly even gotten started. We're going to pick the ninth nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm actually really impressed at how dramatically different her nose actually made everything about her. That was cool. There were a couple noses there that gave her a really like strong, majestic appearance. All right, we're going to go ahead and pick the first set of eyes that we roll by because she only rolled the number one for her eyeballs. So one. Oh my, Ramona, now you look like really serious. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I feel about this, my dear. All right, so we're going to back up. Time to play tail, no tail, twisty do tail. Uh, now we also get to play cow tail or horse tail. So we get to roll twice. One, two. <gasps> no way. Believe it or not, my friends, she actually rolled a cow tail. There's a cow tail on the back of this dog. Oh my gosh. And I think that it will actually come through on some of her children as jeans. Just we can't see it because she's too fluffy. If she wasn't so fluffy, this is just a temporary thing. But if you take away all of her fluff, you can actually see she has a cow tail. <laughs> All right, we'll have to see how fluffy she ends up being. All right, we're going to change her, her coat patterning. We are going to randomize 12 times. One, she's going for the cow pattern, I see. Two, three. Ah, you're so cute. I love spotty things. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh, 11, 12. Okay, I can totally work with this. I like where we're going here. This actually makes her look a lot less ridiculous, to be completely honest. No offense meant on the whole ridiculous comment, by the way, Ramona. Uh, and we're gonna randomize her coloring now. So we're gonna go for the first color, one, and then the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Okay then, that's fine. One, two, three. And then um, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't really know what she looks like. <laughs> A little aggressive, perhaps? Or I wonder. I don't know. She reminds me of some sort of animal. She has a cow tail. She's got really vibrant coloring. 
I'm not really sure. Kind of like a, a, not really a jackal, but kind of a jackal, huh? All right, let's randomize her fur color. Uh, let's see, eighth, or er, fur pattern, excuse me. So she's gonna get the eighth pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, interesting. She's kind of like a strawberry wolf, but I'm not really getting the strawberry vibe from her. Kind of like a desert wolf, to be honest, like a fantasy desert wolf of some kind. And you don't really see her cow tail, but it is still there, believe it or not. That's really funny. She just has the wrong kind of fur for it to really be in evidence. All right, and this is where things are gonna get really interesting, guys, because we have everything from horns to hooves to like antlers, horse noses, manes, unicorn horns and hooves that she could possibly end up with. So the rule is we randomize pet clothing and then we remove all of the clothing and if she ended up with horns, hooves, manes, whatever, on the last roll, then she gets to keep those traits. So we're really lucky because she rolled a 12. <laughs> so we get to see 12 times if we're gonna be lucky enough to end up with her rolling and keeping a gene that does not normally belong in the canine family tree. So one, two, three, <gasps> four, five, no! Wait, she has fangs now! Six, seven, eight, oh no, the fangs are gone. Nine, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Ramona! What a doozy, guys. She has actually randomized a rainbow mane. She's got tiny cloven hooves and she's got some big old horns that she could possibly pass on to her puppies. Ramona, I'm not gonna lie, you look like a mess. You look like a mess of, of gaming Moo is ready to retire. He just swept up all of the stray jeans that we had lying around on the countertop, threw them into the vat and popped out you. Um, wow. Yeah, you, you, I'm gonna be completely honest, Ramona. You look like a bit of a mess. It's kind of awesome. I'm also not going to be lying about that. It is kind of amazing. I, I love the fact she's got everything from the cloven hooves to the rainbow mane to the antlers. And we are going to actually go ahead and she has three unique genes and the cow tail. Don't forget the cow tail, even if it's fluffy. The four unique genes then that I don't, I don't think Ollie knows what's coming. I don't think he's, I think if I was Ollie, I would just like have a heart attack and kill over before the puppies were even, even a glimmer in their eyes. So let's go ahead and give her her personality traits. She's going to have the first personality trait, which is active. Then the ninth one available. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she's active and loyal and a sleuth, interestingly enough. The personality uniqueness just continues to rise. I'm, I'm very impressed by all this. But now is the moment of truth, the moment of real fun. When things start getting quite interesting, they're gonna get to have five, five puppies. And on the fifth puppy, we will have the inheritor of the canine family tree and some of Ramona's very unique genes. Let's do this, let's do this. Come on, Ramona. All right, we're gonna go ahead. You and one terrified Ollie are going to come together and their first son looks pretty darn normal, to be completely honest. And don't worry, because it's pet clothing, a lot of Ramona's extra traits won't show up, but we will actually be rolling a dice to see if uh, their child inherits it or not, because there's a 50-50 chance I decided for each of those extra genes. So their first son with Ollie and Ramona is tall and basically looks like a tall Ollie. Ollie with stretched out legs. Second, uh, looks a lot like they're, they've got really interesting mixes going on here. Uh, and actually, some of the genes cannot be inherited if they end up with a small son, I just realized. If they end up with a small boy, and we're actually going to keep this guy for just a second because he looks really cool. But if they end up with a small son, then a lot of the pet clothing won't be inherited. So all of these extra genes won't pass on to a small child. So you don't have to despair if you don't want to see horns on our dogs for too long because if it's a small puppy, then they wouldn't even be able to be passed on. 
All right, so this would be their third son. Pretty beautiful dogs, actually. I really love Ollie's coloring, and I love his flop ear. It's very addictive. Uh, let's see. Fourth, fifth, sixth. Whoa, beautiful! Beautiful! I love you! Oh my gosh! Oh, you're gorgeous! Holy cow! Oh, you're so beautiful! Okay, I got distracted. Okay, hang on. We're, we're not done. Oh my goodness. Oh, but what kind of babies would he have? Just, oh, just beautiful babies. Beautiful babies. That's the kind of babies you would have. I just, oh, I'm so, I, I'm in love with him. I'm 100% in love with him. I think he might be like one of our new Tobies that I want to keep and put in one of our actual Sim families. Anyway, back to work. Ollie, Ramona, uh, let's see, this would be son number eight. So one more child and this next child share inher inherit hopefully some interesting genes. Nine, no! We're short! Curses! Alright guys, well we still got some really interesting appearances, but this is their ninth son, and he is going to be the one, uh, did I say 12 or 9? I'm looking at the number 9. Hmm, I think I said 9. Pretty sure. Uh, but we're looking, we're gonna go with this guy. Uh, so even though his mom walked in looking like this, the puppy who is walking out, he still looks really unique, is going to be this guy. And his name is actually going to be Cowboy from your guys' name suggestions. He actually popped up with stubborn, smart, glutton traits. So I'm actually going to leave that because I think that would be kind of interesting. Is that because it's from his mom's traits or his dad's traits? No, it's just his very own traits that he, he actually popped out with for once. And he is actually going to be our canine experiment zero three nine um which i find so utterly fascinating and he has a really adorable very blase brother over here who is kind of hilarious uh we're gonna go ahead and just give his brother a temporary name i think this was like the second child so this is taz uh he just looks really chill like a couch potato who's independent and like kind of smart and doesn't really want much to do with you and then there's this boy. Oh my gosh, he's just gorgeous. Look at him. I kind of feel like he needs to be named Tim. Uh, so this is going to be Tim for now. And he's going to be probably, he's probably stubborn, but I think he's super friendly and loyal. There we go. So this is going to be codenamed Tim. I actually, no, let's go with um, Tommy. Maybe? Uh, what is it? I guess I enjoy T names for loyal looking dogs, don't I? Because I named the other one Toby. Uh, so this is going to be Timmy. <laughs> there we go. Toby and Timmy. The dogs that I would be like, yes, you're going on my, my Sims farm. And then finally, Cowboy. Who I actually think is a fantastic addition to our canine family tree. Unfortunately, he did not inherit any of the interesting genes that his mother did. However, let's see. Romana, did you pass on your horns to the only child who can inherit them, which would be Timmy, because the small dogs actually have no access to these genetics? Let's see. I'm rolling dice. She did not pass on her horns. Did she pass on her hooves? She did not pass on her hooves. She's rolling negatives, or excuse me, yeah, negative numbers every time I roll the dice. What about her mane? Oh my gosh, that's another three. Uh, so no, it was five, five, three. She didn't pass on any of her genes to any of her children. I'm so sad. Did you get her tail at least? I'm pretty sure he got her tail. He does secretly, Timmy, secretly has a cow tail. So I think he'd make a good farm dog. <laughs> but there we go, guys. Beautiful Timmy pretty adorable cowboy. I think we're off to a wild rodeo with our wee cowboy next time. So I'll see you guys then. Don't forget we Gaming Moo is going to retire and we will be adding one of you guys in. All you have to do is just leave a comment letting me know it's okay to completely make you look like a purple spotted alien or whatever you're going to appear as. Oh dear. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.